after how last episode ended, man, this episode, uh, I mean, because uh, like, Ryuji's going to keep that to himself, man, but he's going to be going through it emotionally. Definitely. Damn. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Toradora. Last episode, we had the start of the ski trip, which was quite a lot of arguments, I won't lie. Surprisingly, there was a lot of arguments on a vacation, which led to a physical altercation between Amy and Kushieda, which led to the hairpin getting thrown out into the snow, which led to Taiga going to try to get it, which led to her getting caught in a blizzard, which led to Ryuji going to save her, which she was almost unconscious and confessed her love for Ryuji and how she wishes it went away because it would make things simpler, but that's not how love works, sadly. Holy fuck, man. I just, that, that sounds like a, an anime, what I just said, which it is. That's crazy. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this. If you guys want the full length and early access to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, consider checking out that Patreon down below. It does also support me. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below. It really helps me get put out there into the algorithm and helps me, you know, get put into the recommendations for a lot of people. I appreciate you. Let's hop into this Toradora episode 22 when you're around. So I will be honest, this is like the aftermath of the vacation little mini arc, but I thought the vacation was gonna last way longer. So this is a little shocker how this was the aftermath, but yeah, everything's coming to a head right now. Amy, Kushieda, Kushieda, Ryuji, Ryuji, Kitamura, Kitamura, Amy, a like, you know, like everything is coming to a head right now. And I just genuinely want to know how it's going to happen and who's going to confess first because some shit's gone down and we know some shit, but I don't know. Shit just hurts my heart, man. Like I said, what sucks about this is that it's so realistic to high school, like, this is the most important like you have love careers family life after school activities jobs like people don't realize how stressful high school really can be on on someone and how it can physically make someone depressed but like this show does a very realistic job of, of showing everything that goes on in the day-to-day -day lives of school kids, you know, like people nowadays, you, oh, he's going to school, he's living the life, you know, I mean, living the life comparatively to going to a nine to five, paying taxes, doing that kind of shit. But you don't realize, the, like now I realize, because thankfully I graduated almost six years ago. And so like, I remember back in school, you know, people, everyone who was adults and you know, all the, all the, all the college kids that I talked to back then were always like, bro, don't give a fuck what people are going to think of you. Like, cause back in the day I was like a closet weeb. Like I, I didn't let anyone know that I, I loved anime, anything like that. You know, like I, I tried to hide it to, to fit in, be more popular, you know? And, and there was so many people who would tell me like, bro, you're one, never going to see these people after high school Two, You're not going to give a flying fuck what anyone thinks once you're an adult. And it's like, I, as a kid, you're like, yeah, uh huh, whatever you say, Jimmy. But you know, you just you keep going on about your high school day. But now that I'm an adult, I really will go to the mall or go shopping in a Naruto t shirt and fucking pajamas. Like, I don't, I couldn't give a fuck. I haven't had a haircut in months. And, that, and this isn't even due to quarantine, you know, <laughs> I just don't care. But like, that's not something that's easily said when you're in school like in school to these guys to these kids this is the most important aspects of their life and so when something messes up like if they if the girl shoot if, if kushieda rejects him on christmas eve you know like 10 years down the line he's gonna look back at that christmas eve like, god damn that was fucking i cannot believe that happened that uh, fucking good old days but at the time like thankfully it's Ryuji and he's a fucking real ass guy. That could have that could have made someone else cry. Be de like that is high school is fucking savage and killer. The fact that like I, I don't know I just have utmost respect for these kids going through it because I know what they're going through. I definitely do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. Don't forget if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, you can check out early access on that Patreon down below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, y'all.